Okay guys, so here is the one that just popped on the market this morning. It is 208 Hickory, and it is in a neighborhood um, in Elgin, which is just about two miles from where we were. This neighborhood's really quiet. And this house has a really great front porch. Uh -huh. Yeah, it has a great front porch. It's got some, um, a lot of privacy, really. The one thing is that the driveway is a little bit on an incline of a hill, but there's a nice parking spot on the side right here and some walking paths to the backyard. So, two-car garage, and let's check out this big porch. It looks like fall, doesn't it? Okay, so huge rocking chair front porch. Needs a swing out here. All right, let's go in. You've got your entry here with your dining room on the left and your living room on the right. So let's take a little bit better of a peek. Um, really nice hardwoods. It smells very clean in here. Big storage under the steps. This is a living room in here and it has a fireplace. I'm not really sure what room you're in. This looks like a really cute little office or sunroom. It could be an office or playroom for toys. Okay. It looks like a wood-burning fireplace, not gas. Before we go explore that, I see this back door. Let's go peek out the back, okay? Wow, this is nice. Screen porch with a TV. Okay, so I'm going to tell you of all of the ones I've looked at for you guys, this is probably my favorite so far. Um, there looks like there's a really cute little shop area out there. And over here there's a little stone patio. I'll go walk over there going to be your dining room or eat-in kitchen area and that'll be the door from your garage but oh super cute backyard look at this grilling area how cute I like it mm-hmm Okay, so little walking paths throughout the yard, and it looks fully fenced, but different parts of the fence look to be pieced together. Let's go check this little shed out. Oh wait, let me show you over here. There's another little sitting area. Huge side yard too. I remember correctly this was like 170 or 80 something which probably means it will be a very hot seller so I see that they've got water hooked up over there and they must have had koi pond or garden of something out here with all these little plants. 
stumps. <laughs> you can tell that there's a gate right there. Wow. Little hobbit hole here. This is really kind of cute. Bryce, here's your man shed. Super very cute addition or part of this property. You could turn that into a bar and an outdoor saloon if you wanted to. All right, here's the house from the back. There's some yard work that should be done because, again, there's a lot of really strange things that used to be going on back here. Aspen, let's go walk over here so we don't slip on the pine straw. Come on, let's go keep checking this one out. Okay, here's gonna be access to upstairs. So we'll go look at that here shortly. This is gonna be your half bath. Super cute for being tiny. There's your breaker box right there. And wow, super cute kitchen. So you have room for an eat-in table here if it's a small one. And then that's the access to the screened-in porch. But love this kitchen for... It not being quite as large as some kitchens I've seen is very well put together. And it looks like it's been updated. Um, here is your garage. Entry to the backyard. Well, entry to the side yard by the grill. Um, water heater, easy access. That's nice. Washer and dryer is going to be in your garage. Aspen, what does it smell like? Uh, it smells like the zoo in here. I think you're thinking of the aquarium because it kind of does smell like a garage with chemicals in it. Huge storage area in the side. That's nice, and looks like he likes to listen to music in here because there's some speakers hooked up. So, all right, let's keep going. I'm actually really loving this little house. All right. That is a great refrigerator. Microwave, stove, dishwasher. Just so you can get the address, here it is. Um, little butler pantry. And this is your actual dining room from when we went in at the front. Front door. All right, let's go up these steps and see what we can find. Nice built-ins. These are the kind of things that you do not find in cookie cutter homes and I just 
love the character that they add. Okay, so this is going to be the master. This is a big master. The carpet's in really good shape. Um, you can tell this family has taken good care of this home. For the age, there's a lot of updates done to it. And it's clean in every room. For the most part. So two closets in here. Master bath. It's just going to have a shower. Okay. Actually, this is a huge, deep shower. Um, you probably could put another shower head on the other side. An aspen swing? Oh, an aspen seat. Do you fit on that potty? Sorry for all the extra um, what verbiage I'm saying with the little one. She's with me all day today. Okay. Bedroom here. So the only thing I'm seeing about this home that's been a little bit different is that there's just no walk-in closets here. But um, the living space of this home seems to be really great. There's attic access there. Third bedroom here. Nope, nope, nope. You may not climb on furniture. Not at all. Okay, come over here, please. And then you've got this bathroom. Again, clean. All right. I'll be interested to hear your feedback on all of these homes. Talk to you soon.